Good morning everyone. Danny and I are on our way out to Pixie to drop a couple of dog baits, find out why the boar's not running well, but also to re-secure it with a bit of conduit. Now, yesterday Dad saw two wild dogs out there and 13 camels. So we are adequately prepared for whatever we come across, as well as doing a little bit of routine maintenance, cleaning a couple of troughs before we go, uh, as we go. So we're a little bit later uh, than we were hoping to leave because we had a flat tire, but then we also, and I can stop the car, hop out and show you. We also cut hole in the bonnet and put a, a bonnet scoop, but we put it on backwards. Now we've done that to try and improve the airflow. We've got a lot of air coming in through the front, but because we've got underbody protection, we reckon we're not getting enough air coming out the bottom and heat rises. So getting the air going out the top will mean that we can just get a little bit more air passing through over the, the cooling elements. And then hopefully the engine will run a bit cooler and we'll have air con. So we're gonna head off now and go tackle the day. Not that Danny and I are out camel hunting, but we have a little bit of a, I don't know, sense of humor, a bit of a laugh, because it's like, oh, please, no more camels today. We just want to get out there and get our job done. But we changed our music from a little bit of like heavier rock, you know, a bit of pace and energy, and we thought, what was it, 90s chill, yeah, sort 90s. of? Yeah, a bit of 90s chill. And we've turned that on and within 30 seconds, we've seen fresh camel tracks over hours from yesterday. And Danny reckons, uh, actually Danny, what, what did you reckon it was? Yeah. Oh, we'll because of the nice calm music, the camels yeah. are the calm before the storm. Yeah. You know, just to get our heart rates just nice and down and relaxed. I'm thinking we might, probably put Enya on and see if the camels, the ships of the desert, won't sail away. You're on the Bluetooth? No. No, no, it's our end. Um, you know how I said we're going to find camels? Yeah. Yeah, we've got them. Okay, cool, get into it. Um, give me a call back. Yeah, yep. Uh, Danny reckons there's more than three, but I think he's confident that I'll be able to get them because he's not running for the wedge tail right now. He reckons that I should get some in now before. Um, he takes the rest of them today. Eighty-five. Eighty-five on your heart rate. See, Enya is helping. Music. Eighty-five as well. All right, let's turn the music off. <coughs> but we don't want copyright, Danny. Um, <laughs> I wait till my scope's on, and we are recording. And I'm just gonna, yep, I am good to go, Danny. Do some range finding. Comms off. Yep. Did it did 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 did. Come on, laser, laser. Four. Looks like four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because one's. 
I can't get a range on that. So I'm just going to call that about 120. I reckon a headshot on the first one. Oh, they are just staring at me. They're still straight through there. We'll go for a drive. Thanks, Annie. No, nah, don't worry about loading. I've got a second one ready. Go for a drive. One, two. pulled up but um yeah Danny, let's drive forward and then at some stage we're going to have to check why we've lost zero. Yeah, just pull forwards gently. Yeah, yep. Done. I am. No, 96. 96. Oh, I'm at 79. All right, uh, something's going on there. Maybe I've changed profile on the scope. I'll actually turn that on and have a look. I've heard that accidentally can happen. I've been taking the battery out to charge it at night, so who knows? But I will. Um, probably have to just do some zero checks at some stage because it's kind of um, not as on as yesterday. All right, um, Danny's heart rate's at 96. I'm at, oh, I was at 80, yeah, 79. We're gonna carry on, see what else we see and yeah, keep doing our, our thing. We'll turn some Enya back on and get that heart rate back down. 
Yep, so heart rate check, I'm at 63, Danny. What are you at? 70. Back down to 70. Yeah, we've just been listening to a bit of Evanescence. It's a playlist that we're listening to on YouTube music. And we've um, not been saying a lot. We've just sort of been just in the zone, quite mellow. Um, we've got some fresh camel tracks in front of us. So we're going to see where they go. We might make a little diversion off to the side because they could be at North Packhorse. <sighs> so much lead I can waste with the speed line this time. Ooh, does he go in? We'll, we'll poke into North Pack anyway. Now it's um, certainly not as easy as when we've got the plane up and about and that's something that we've explained a lot of times when people want to come and shoot. The plane costs us a fair bit of money to put up and operate. So it's not exactly the sort of thing that we just you know, do for recreational purposes. We've got it as a purpose. Um, and it gives us an advantage when we're having to take care of the feral animals. These tracks have come back on here, so I'm gonna pop my window down and we'll go nice and gently in and scan the trees. Well, you got him. Ah, oh, straight ahead, 12 o'clock. Shot him? Yeah, it should be a good shot there, Danny. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Turn the music. Off so we don't get done for copyright. Scopey Gopi is on. He is presenting only his neck. There's a bit of a branch in the way for going for a heart shot, so... Two in the neck. And he's rolling over. Rolling and he's pretty much cactus. Keep laying down. There you go. All right. He's just poked his head around a little bit. We'll just pull up a little bit closer, Danny. We'll just confirm that he is all the way dead. Some of his mates have been in as well. They came in last night. He's out of he's out for the count. Let's drive up here and check if we've got any other players. Big fella.
No damage to the yards, Danny. Right. All right, so it's just that fella, but there's evidence here that there's been at least another 12 to 13 camels around. He's dead, dead. Like there's no getting back up from that double neck shot. And um, we're just gonna keep our eyes out for any more of them. It, probably they've cut back up to the north, so we could bump into them. The camera last night didn't pick anything up because the infrared's not that good. So yeah, we will um, see where they end up and if we bump into them. Back to our uh, nice, calm music playlist. We've, we've been mixing up our music choice today and we think the diversity is good. I've been switching over to driving because, uh, I've switched over to driving because I have been absolutely terrible at shooting today and I think it's just a shame uh, to not let Danny show me how it's done. <laughs> so we're coming on up to Pixie at the moment where Dad saw some camels and some dogs yesterday. So Danny's just geared up enough to um, get into action. We saw one camel on the way in here and I um, wasted a lot of bullets on that one. So we're going back to the wedge tail. Danny's on point. So we're, um, we'll see what we've got up here and I'm just gonna be cameraman Jack. I'll be standing out the back. Tank, don't shoot the tank. Do you want to um, do it by foot or? Wait, pop, 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 pop. All right, we'll roll down closer. They'll come in while we're working, Danny. One. You got one? Yeah. They cut north. It's four dogs. One went into the bush here. Bro. Yeah. Might as well save it for now. Got a road just straight through here, Danny. Yeah. Right. right, we'll clear that. Um, Mag out first. Yep. Um, then we will we'll get back to work. We'll do this water, and um, if we're being sneaky, we just hold up, wait for them. So while we're working, we'll keep a mag in it, have it lent up somewhere because the dogs will come in while we're working. There's a fresh kill in the yards that they did. So, they have been liking this area. Let's go have a look at their little camp.
Okay, so Danny and I are out here for two jobs. One of them is putting the dog baits out. The other is getting this bore going again. I flicked it on already and it's all good. I've just got to rerun a new line in some conduit so that dogs and birds can't chew the cable. So because we've had the recent dog activity and Danny's going to be walking around with dog bait uh, in his bucket to nicely spread around and he knows roughly where the dogs have gone, I'm going to set Danny up with a sling on the rifle so he can have a mag in and the sling and then if he sees he's a dog, you just drop the bucket and get laid into him. Right, Danny's gonna go for a walk. I'm sure that I will know if he's got any action. So I'm going to run a new line and um, put some conduit in. Well, Danny will drop some dog baits out and we should be hitting away from here in just a little while. If we had a drone, if we had a drone, we would just flick it up and have a bit of a scan around. Today it's pretty windy. Um, Dad had a 50 knot crosswind on his way to Perth today. So, yeah, we're dealing with a bit of wind. Not exactly the day that we want to be running around with a 223. So, yeah, we're, um, we might go for a little bit of a poke out here, but we've got a puncture in one of our tyres. We've poked it. See how we go. Okay, so I fixed up the float valve there. So I've got the new float in there. And I put a couple of panels here, which gives you a couple of advantages. One, it's gonna stop animals coming in and getting access to these pipes. But two, we've got a nice ladder here so we can fill up our water bottles when you're out here. Because this is the very edge of the station and very good water. So, yeah. Not a bad little effort for now. Um, Danny's over there cleaning the trough out, so it's nice and clean. We're going to have it so it leaks a little bit to be a nice smell. Keeping the yards open to make sure that the camels and everyone else out here comes to this point, which means that at some stage we can set up on this nice little bridge and manage them. All right, we're just about at Wharton's and Danny the camel hunter as he's now being called by his brothers, is <laughs> uh, spotted us a camel. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Yes. All the whole reefs at the time. Looking straight at him. I'm going to put my glasses on so I don't not see it again. So we're going to go down the airstrip and um, creep on out. Hey, well, that's why I've got the extra magazine in case there's, there's more and they just pop up out of the wood room. Good job. Yeah. Do I need gloves? Free. Your phone. It's that one there, isn't it? Yeah, got him. Fuck it, Danny. We're just going to creep up on him. We'll see how close we can get. G'day and welcome to uh, hunting with Danny and Jack. Danny's going to show us uh, some of his amazing bush skills. And we're going to see if we can point blank this camel. <laughs> you happy with your zoom like that? Let's get, let's get half ready. No, don't slam the doors. Be 
tu vois. Wanted. Yeah, I think so. Go to that branch. Stay in the shade here, take it, mate. If you wanted to, just wait. Oh, just give him a moment, he might come to us. Sling it, Danny, if you want. What do you reckon that fella, Danny? Bull following the following the group. Got the group not far. We'll go across the lake. Yep. We'll set the trap. Uh, you know, set the bait out. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to explain the bait to everyone? Um, we drop the trough. So the camels can smell it, and apparently they can smell how far it? 5k. 5k. Good. Yeah, see how much we get tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright folks, that's us for the day. It's uh, 20 to 4. We've been going for the last 12 hours, so... We're going to wrap it up and um, say thank you very much for joining us on a day where we drove nearly 300 kilometers in a round trip. Actually, let's look at the trip. 220 k's in a round trip. Fix a pipe and uh, make sure that's all good. So yeah, long distances and um, the kit's there now that if we need to fix anything else up there, we just fly in. Cool.
as well as setting up some camel baits for tomorrow when we might have a journalist up here who wants to see as bad as it can get. We're not tipping the scale at all. Rightio, thanks everyone.